Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to Q&T video update and I'm um, looking at Q&T at the moment quite confusing I tried to take an entry today by the way and uh, I even shared this as a trading idea now the question really is is Q&T looking good or in trouble now it's very very tricky okay it's really really tricky now if I dive in into the one hour time frame right here you can see that we're pretty much breaking out okay so um, this is where probably I would say someone should have their stop losses at 175 because if you come down below 175 one thing is very clear you're going to lose the retest right there and you're going to go and drop below the lowest trend line and from here that's where you can actually start to move even lower so coming to 175 doesn't sound like a good idea but at the moment uh, you can see that uh, it's clearly uh, some fake outs right there and, and never had a successful back test. You got rejected right here, you got rejected right there, nearly rejection right there. You had one rejection right here. Now this is for the f uh, another rejection actually there. This is for the first time that I look at Q&T making a successful close above that trend line. So one thing is clear, you see, you cannot go against a trend line. If a trend line, if, if you look at something holding above resistance you know whatever was resistance here and now it's act acting as support you cannot switch to the downside and does it sound really interesting unless unless of course you come down and fake out again and lose the power and lose it and then you try to come down then you cannot do anything right you cannot do anything but how can one say it's gonna go down if as long as you're holding that uh, retest. You can see it's pretty much clear that you've actually back tested or you're not just losing, you're above that level and you are holding it as support. So it's simple trading. If you're holding it as support, then it's pretty clear you're going back to where you came from. So that's going to be 214 200, $216. So that's going to be like from there to there, we're looking for 19%, nearly 20%. Okay. Now on the daily, I also noticed on the daily that the candlestick you're printing is really, really good because prior, uh, yesterday, you just made a bullish spinning, actually not a bullish spinning top, but an inverted hammer, which is a bullish sign right there. So if I show you that one right here, uh, it looks good to me, honestly. <laughs> so let's, let's see. Um, so it's going to be inverted hammer right there. And from the images you can see that yeah this is the kind of pattern we're talking about so red 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 inverted hammer longer wick to the upside in a small body and uh, that's how the inverted hammer looks like right at the moment and you can see from here it's actually meant to go up and you can if I bring in the EMAs you're also holding the 10 EMA quite very very well so losing and coming down to 175 is gonna create a chaos but even better stop loss is at 171 because if you try to take that one out and you try to lose the trend line, then it's a pattern to switch to the downside and actually come down to uh, $122 or $110. So at the moment, uh, it's quite scary, um, but you don't have any option. Maybe that's just, a, you know, take the opportunity. You never know if you get lucky to go to the upside. By the end of the day, you're not losing support. You are above support. And as long as you're holding support, support the coin. If you lose support, don't support the coin. Just let it go. And that's pretty much it for this Q&T update. Quick one. I'm going to see you in the next one. Allah Hafiz.